Welcome to Upgrade. I'm your host, Frank the Tank. Today, I'm going to bring a nice, large studio light. It's an LED light. Uh, it's pretty much for professional photographers and uh, studios. And, and you can set it up in your own studio if you necessarily need one. Now, I do own a couple of them. I own the Elgato one and I own a ring light. Um, I have them side by side, but I prefer more like a Legato light than this kind of light. So we're going to take a look at it, see if it's even worth it. If we're going to keep it or we're going to send it back or we're going to get an Legato better. Because at this point right now, I'm pretty much um, set to maybe uh, get more lighting in this room. And I have a new studio that I want to end up moving my, my old lighting sets into here. But I don't want to have it to take over the room. So and then it gets heat up a lot. So I want to be able to control this stuff. And this is something that a lot of photographers had in hand. So we're going to take a look at it and see what you get when you purchase them with this. So let's go ahead and take a look. We're going to open it up. We're going to move all the items. And it's well packed in here. If you notice everything that I just took off, these were exactly placed like that. Um, we got the actual pole. That's the only reason I got it because I want to be able to attach this to maybe a side or the actual desk. So not bad and i'm gonna show you guys a little bit of my um video taping i have in here so you guys can see a little bit more insight by showing you how i set up my lights and how i want to be set up so let's go ahead and take it out okay this is the actual clamp that you're going to require and this is a heavy duty clamp um they do have a rubber end here so it could grab onto any kind of desk it won't damage your desk now the bottom one is not covered but you just need one pretty much to cover the whole setup. Now, this is adjustable, and I like that they added a, a, a removable screw here that you could remove these two and actually adjust them to a, a longer width if you can. So this is a plus that they have these two embedded in here because normally they do have screws and you need another tool here. You could just unscrew them with your hand um, and you could tie them up yourself. Now, I like that. That's a big plus right there. And we are going to set this up here. So basically, you just got to go in there to twist it and we're all set and once you don't see the screw in the bottom if you see it you don't see it no more it's done we're, we're embedded in there so that's pretty much that's stable right there so we'll put this on the side last box guys last box we can inbox me this is the actual power right here and and they give you a remote control for the actual system so you can sit somewhere else so an elgato system i do have a, a i do have a stream deck that i can show the lighting so but this is another thing. They give you the actual controller, and on top of that, they give you the battery, too. So we're going to open it up, and we're going to plug it in. And this is a plus. This is a little remote. You know, you could keep it on the side. Uh, is the other one's too bright? You know, the only thing is that I don't have control for one of them on, on my hand. I have, um, I'm going to have a control for this one only. So um, I might just swap the whole lighting here for these sets, man. And it, they work with the same controller even better. All right, if you guys notice, it's a 15 volt, right, uh, connection here. So we're going to power it up from here. And they, they give you a long sensor. Now I understand why they give you this zip tie, right, this um, Velcro tie, because um, they give you a lot of cord for it. So a couple of feet away from the actual setup, it will be perfect. So I like the plus that they give you the battery section. So you go actually. So we're going to plug it in. Let's see how. And then plug it in. And then we're going to move it to the side a little bit. Actually, let's, let's see how much we can see from the bottom. So we're going to put this on the side here. And I'm going to get the remote control. And we're going to plug power it up with the power here. And if you notice, it's so, it shows 3,000 Ks right here. It's at 0%. And we're going to crank it up. So let's power it up. So powering it up. All off. All on. If you notice, it just turned on right now. Let me kill the lights here. You guys can see more of the actual back end. Um, I'm not going to face it up to the camera yet, but we're going to do that in a bit. So here you're able to control the actual 50 percent, 60 percent, 70, 80, 90, 100. So you're able to control it with this little slider, little curve here. So if it's too dark, you can just control it in here. I like that. And right now you see it, it says DC and then you have different modes, A, B and C. So you can control different channels if you have different multiple systems in here. Uh, on top of that, you could program um, different settings on here if you have other settings. So we're going to go channel. And in channel, I can't control anything. So we're in a different channel. So we're going to go back to our same channel. You hit channel. And now I'm able to control it here. So right now, currently on this one, I have channel one. And you could change it to different channels 
here itself by itself too and also on on the actual controller so if you change this one to channel two you're gonna have to change the channel two on the actual mini controller there's a redu there's a gp and there's also a reducer of to 25 percent so by hitting it it's going to take it to 25 percent and uh, it's going to increase it 25 percent so let's decrease it let's increase it by 25 percent so right now it's at one percent 25 50 75 100 so and, and then it's off so it increases 25 levels of 25 so that's not bad um heating wise I, I don't feel it right now and it's something i'm gonna put it facing up i'm gonna put it really low and look look how beautiful it looks you could add objects in here i don't want to put anything to break it you could talk about a silhouette or something and let's keep going i'm gonna control the controller here i'm gonna keep doing it and i'm facing it up and it's getting bright. So let's go up to 100. So let's bring it all the way up. Right now we're at 50%, guys. This is 75%. And we're at 100%. Now this is this is going to light up the whole room. This actually is really good professional lighting. I like it. So we, right now, as you can see, I don't have any lights. We're going to turn in the rest of the light. We're going to set this up and then see how well it works with integrated with the other one. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's bring that little camera so you guys can see more details of how I have my setup, all right? All right, like I was talking to you guys, I'm gonna put it on the side angle and I know you have on my wiring. This is the Elgato one that I have, currently have out here. Um, I'm gonna put it on the side angle and it's of course next to my window, of course. Um, stretch all the way, if you stretch it from point A to point B, it's about 22 on there because I can't count more than that because uh, actually that's where it starts grabbing on so 22 inches long you know that's the long as i could stretch it out to so um it's fixed pretty much uh, in place and you can lock it in here uh i like these two that you can actually extend them and i tied it up i know i have a lot of labyrinth so let me show you a little bit of what i have this is actually my little studio overhead i built this myself i have my camera here facing down i got elgato uh, led light here and of course it grabs on the similar setup i have here i'm gonna have this one too but facing down uh i might have to elevate it more higher but right now the best i can do is probably put it down here i'm gonna have to remove this of course uh this is my switch so i'm gonna bring it lower and then i'm gonna swap it out with that one and i could i don't want to interfere with the camera so it's gonna be a big base i might have to bring in closer um the only thing i'm concerned is that this thing might not be able to hang properly so uh i never had an issue with it i had overheads with it but we're gonna test it out and see how well it works and let's go ahead and continue all right so we completely kill all the lights and we have the controller here and we're gonna go ahead and turn it up to 21 percent and there's the brightness all the brightness all right and it lights up the whole room it lights up the whole room all right that one light i like it i i i'm really pleased with it it's a lot larger than the Elgato one. Uh, it looks a lot better to make. I like that it has glass. It's made by glass so it can reflect. It won't have to get that reflection too. And I like that it's portable because you could add your batteries and take it out. I like that. This is a plus for me. This is going to be a game changer here. Hopefully it'll help you guys understand and see better things now that I open it. And when I turn on the Elgato light, it, it, they both reflect. But I got to turn it down just a little bit so it can balance it out. So I have to put it at 75. So that one's, I'm going to put a little brighter on that one. That's the brightest I can go on that one. This are actually, this one's a lot brighter than the Elgato one. To be honest with you, I, I personally like it a lot. I, I, Elgato one, if you notice Elgato, there's a little, it's plastic. This is plastic, right? The top of this is actually glass, but there's plastic in there, if you guys can see it. On this one right here, it's pretty much like one of those um, ceiling lights, all right? That you walk into the, the, the hospitals and the medical areas, you know? It's a good lighting, don't get me wrong. It served me very well, but this one is actually professional lighting that you can see. You can even probably reflect the light if you use other objects and stuff like that i like that it comes with its portable stand that is one of the best things and on top of that if you have a tripod you can set this up on a tripod too and, and, and take it anywhere now with the extra additions that you could put your batteries in here that is a game changer compared to uh, elgato so if you're gonna buy elgato one and you want to expend the money it's about the same price you don't get the features about mobilizing it, taking it out in the field. But let me tell you something about Elgato. 
it works well with other um, other items like a stream deck if you have a stream deck you're gonna have no problems working with this so right now I do have a stream deck here and I control it by turning it off and on on uh, the lighting setting and stuff like that that's the best thing I have about that but on this one beats it with this you got the remote you can't beat the remote I love this this is a great feature I'm gonna hang this around here so I don't get lost but I mean this light itself it's not hot it's been on already for a while I don't feel any heat at all of course if you turn it up higher it is, you're gonna get some heat so between this one Elgato one and this one I think uh, this is a lot brighter you could do a lot more too than Elgato Elgato you could change the color uh, references too also but this is a lot larger if you're gonna buy the batteries and take them out for a couple hours out there if you're gonna record charge them up uh, great additions for it so if you guys like this kind of stuff let me know I'm your host Frank the Tank and we are out